What do you want to do there? Hi, welcome back to Blackjack and Athena. This is actually my second time recording this. I got as far as the first few seconds of Smokey's introduction and that was it. My computer crashed. I don't know why. Um, hey, no, no. Daily dose. Hey. <laughs> so, anyway, I just want to know what they were thinking when they came up with this. Um, like, why? Why? But because, you know, they're icons of my childhood. Um, I'm wearing my Mr. Rogers It's All Good in the Hood shirt. That's really the only thing I could think of. I mean, I have, like, state park stuff, but, you know. Uh, and let's face it. At the end of the day, it's a dog versus a freaking bear. Okay? So... Unless McGruff is packing some serious heat and has a crack shot, is a crack shot? I think it's both. Then, yeah, Smokey's just gonna, like, maul him. And I had thought previously that this was gonna be a pixel battle, since it's only, uh... Oh, excuse him, what? It's only been, um, like, they, they did, uh, Balrog versus TJ Combo. Then they did a sprite one, and then they did this. So I thought this was going to be another sprite one. But no, I was spoiled on the fact that it's fully animated. Like, 2D animated. I love 2D animation. I love 3D animation, but, you know, there's no reason they can't coexist. You know, we can and should have both. Neither one is really better. They just serve different purposes. And... I don't know, that's just going to go on a whole different rant. So, anyway, what I'm going to do... When it comes to public service, two animals have gone far beyond the call of duty. They're known throughout the world as the symbols of safety. So let's make them fight to the death. Smokey Bear, the firefighting mascot of forest safety. And McGruff the Crime Dog, taking a bite out of crime wherever he goes. He's wears an arm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. In 1944, America's forests faced an ever-increasing threat. With nearly 16 million men battling Nazis overseas, little manpower remained to combat the spread of forest fires. Every year, 30 million acres of trees would go up in smoke. Damn, that's even more trees than Snoop Dogg can burn. America needed a new hero. Someone who could prevent these disastrous blazes from occurring in the first... I'm just going to take this opportunity to pause here. Um, I am fine. I've been fine. Uh, but there are considerable amount of forest fires in my state. Um, including some that got... Pretty close to Portland. No. And it was traced to some teenagers playing with fireworks and, like, just, like, lighting stuff and throwing it into the woods. Like, that's not even an accident. That's malicious intent. And, frankly, like, don't even charge the parents on that. Charge these kids for the rest of their lives. That's, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, jeez, it's just... It's obscene what people will do, you know? Yeah, we need Smokey the Bear to come out of the woods and maul people. Twice. And then along came a lovable cartoon bear named Smokey. So remember, only you can prevent forest fires. As a mascot, Smokey Bear did what he could to inspire the American people. He even partnered with Bambi to teach the ways of fire safety. However, Smokey was still merely a dream, a figment of imagination until one fateful day in the Capitan Mountains of New Mexico. What do you know? A forest fire broke out. The mountain trees were annihilated in a blaze so intense the 30 firefighters called to action were almost incinerated. Thousands of forest critters either fled or died. All but one. Atop a smoldering tree clung a lone survivor, a small black bear cub. His paws burnt, his family lost to the flames. So after firefighters rescued him, there was only one name that fit. Smokey. 
Well, at first they named him Hotfoot Teddy, but they couldn't waste such a great PR opportunity. <laughs> Married to Goldie Bear. Okay. Eight foot and 350 pounds? I would have thought it would weigh like 500, 600 at that weight, at that height, because they're like <clears throat> muscly and stuff. Adopted into the National Zoo at Washington, D.C., young Smokey became the living symbol of fire prevention. They even made an animated short of his new official origin story, and it's pretty horrifying, actually. The public adored young Smokey. He received so much fan mail, he had to get his own zip code. And since then, Smokey has successfully helped prevent forest fires and promote fire safety for over 70 years. And boy, oh boy, has he done a good job. Drown your campfires with water. Make sure it's totally wet. Then stir and drown again. Indeed, in just the first 20 years, annual forest fire damage dropped over 80%. Yeah, thanks to Smokey's advice, I've never started a forest fire in my entire life. I don't believe that. To my knowledge, I mean, I've had plenty of opportunities. Well, I'm impressed. I didn't think you took anybody's advice so seriously. Why wouldn't I take Smokey's? This guy started a fire safety club, picked up ventriloquism, and even taught the Adams family to put out fires. You know, the people who love pain and things that are generally bad for you? He's befriended the creatures of the forest, much like a Disney princess, and he- Well, you know, I mean, with the Adams family, it's at least consensual. Hmm. Size alteration, yes. Can potentially reverse time. Omnipotence concerning wildfires. And there we go. Claws and strength and speed of a bear. That's... A dog cannot go against that. <laughs> even infiltrated Disney itself to teach their characters about fire safety. Also, unlike most mascots at the time, he successfully protected his dignity through the toughest social experience in recent history, the 90s. Respect the forest, protect our trees. No, what I do? This isn't me. Smoke, he agreed you'd talk to kids in their language. I know, but I'll just give it to them straight. Oh, and in case you forgot, he's also a goddamn bear. An American black bear, to be precise. The largest black bears are over 7 feet tall and exceed 800 pounds, which seems to match Smokey's own size. Smokey's got plenty to fight with, like his razor-sharp claws, his trusty shovel, and enough muscle to rip your arm off Chewbacca style. And then you have to worry about fighting a bear that's armed. Was that a pun? It wasn't even bear-related. Wiz, you can't even bear the amount of puns I've got. What have you got? As if. Unlike Boomstick, Smokey isn't one to just do the bear minimum. In fact, bears in general are quite durable creatures thanks to their stout anatomy, including a skeleton so stable it endures long hibernation without withering. You better believe Smokey is strong, too. Bears his size can break trees and flip over boulders weighing more than 350 pounds. When he was just a cub, Smokey even smashed this shitty little house to bits. He's surprisingly stealthy, able to sneak up on people in... Prevented a barren apocalypse. Nice. Defeated a gorilla. Smashed a house down, but like he said, it was kind of shitty. Can run over 30 miles an hour. Barely a sound. Also, black bears can run up to 30 miles per hour. That's what makes the bear cavalry so dangerous. <laughs> Aside from that, he's accomplished many unbelievable feats to keep the forest safe, like manipulating time. And also when he disguised himself as a woman without bearing any resemblance to his real body. Boomstick, why don't you introduce his greatest feat with your baritone voice? Prepare yourself, because Smokey can magically grow so large, he's bigger than Godzilla. Look at the size of him! All just to emphasize a point, <laughs> much like how I'm owning this unbearable pun war. Oh, I'm still going! I hope you brought some sort of non perishable snack, because I can do this all day. You're gonna be so embarrassed when you lose. No, 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 that'll never happen when it's me versus you. Ha! You missed a bear pun! You're out! Ursus is Latin for bear, moron. Ah, uh, damn it! You know Latin's my weakness. If only I was a bear, then my only weakness would be bear traps, bear repellent, and bear mace. You know, shit that people had to make to stop bears since they're so unstoppable. There are some techniques to increase your chances of surviving a bear attack. Some say you can punch your arm down their throat to induce uncontrollable vomiting. 
Although I wouldn't recommend that because you're definitely going to lose your arm. And it's gross! Honestly, all you can really do is make yourself look as large and intimidating as possible. Now I know a foolproof way to escape a bear. You just gotta be faster than the guy next to you. Well, it's a good thing Smokey chose a life of education and isn't chasing people down. The last thing you want after you is an eight-foot-tall bear with a giant shovel and a grudge. Only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey, the Jim, small. I gotta get back to the forest. Let me take you on a trip back to the late 1970s, also known as the feel-good decade, a time where individualism and personal liberation took center stage. But not everybody took that as a sign of peace. Yeah, domestic crime was getting bad. Like, really bad. At the turn of the decade, the American people made a hero to save them from themselves. A dog in a trench coat. This canine began his campaign modestly enough, but he needed a name. After eight months of polling, he was given one, along with an unforgettable slogan. Take a bite out of crime. McGruff.